Okay. So, we're gonna check the replays. So, go, go, these go. Okay. Mm hmm. We're gonna go into replay codes and add the ones that were sent by Victory. So, mm, we got RR. F9, I get, oh, can I test out, okay, mm -hmm. what did I want to do, mm. oh yeah, additional window, and then I do discord, right, and then I have the discord window a bit bigger, right about, right about there, and I can I can do <clears throat> whoop transition move studio mode and here we go here's the platoon so <clears throat> let's go uh, first replay that's the one uh, RF nine seven E two M E twenty five Um, K U K eight U eight. Okay, this is the first one. Download for victory with the. Wait, that's not tricolor. What do you mean? What is this nonsense all about? This was not a tricolor game. Victory, please explain this. RTGM mm, M46M GMKQ 61AO Victory. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oops. Need to do more. So that was a tricolor one. <clears throat> Next one is R one C Y. L K U S Y four one three. Whoop. Four one three. Seven five W eight. Mm. <clears throat> From victory on turf war museum. That's not a tricolor bell. Come on, victory. I'm splatty right here. Extra tricolor. Yes, we need more tricolor. Mm, R five six T L seven two seven X eight A X blue seven tricolor. Yes, nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> this is what we want. So, view replays. Is everybody here? Let me let me just um, go into the first chat and pull up. It's <laughs> just zooming around where it was. You want me to pick the room or you? Um, other way. Yeah, oh, hey, Chris. It. Hey, yo. Where's Victory? Did he leave? Uh, he's supposed to be back. He left. Mm, okay. Created he did? a room. Mm, I, oh. I was about to uh, begin the the VOD review of his tricolor games, but he's out. So I guess oh. I'm, I'm going to start with mine. What are you doing, tricolor? Okay. Uh, what, what'd you say? You this is a live VOD review. Lots of people talking about the game, but commentating. 
so what are you gonna do? VOD review? What? How are you gonna VOD review? You? So are you gonna like play? No, basically, uh, Victory sent in, sent in some games of his tricolor battles, and I'm just gonna review them and, and like see what we can learn about like playing uh, tricolor to perform on this map. And oh, he's, up. he's here. I'm back. Oh, Victory! Victory! Hello! We're here to review your VODs I reviews. Tripped, I, I tripped down the stairs and, uh. <laughs> what? My, Dark. My foot, my foot got, uh. Owied. Ouch. Ooh. Yeah, it hurts a bit. Tripping down the stairs. I still on the stairs for like a um, minute and a half. Oh, I did a somersault down the stairs when I was like three. Hot oh, down the sick. I. I I ride I tried to ride a pillow down the stairs yeah, I'll be right my head and just tumbled and then I smelled a colder. Yeah, I, I rode a plastic bin down the stairs and it didn't tumble and it was really cool. Okay, oh yeah, I I rode a plastic bin like with a pillow in front minutes. of it and I fell. Ah. Like uh, but the weirdest part about that is uh I ate a quarter as well. <laughs> like at the same time? Well, when I fell, I I didn't. <clears throat> okay, so let me start real quick with uh, my game while Victory comes back. <clears throat> so, play. Oh, hello, Victory, you're here. So, I thought you were gonna take longer, so I started with one of my games. Um, that way, I can I can get a feel for the map layout. Um, talk about this a bit, and then I'll, I'll move on to yours and. Yeah, good. Give sounds specific good. tips. So, uh, my tricolor games were mostly all losses, because we're bad. We're bad at the game. Uh, so the changes they made on this map, um, compared to the um, what was that thing called, the op the test fire thing, uh, is that they removed the ground here. So you have to go up there if you wanna, uh, up on the wall if you wanna go to the left side. So mainly you're gonna be funneled into the right and to the middle. You know, also I think oh, they Chris, changed the box sizes. Your, uh, your Discord, uh, yeah, true, 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 true. See, well, that's why I'm starting with mine because uh, I'm dumb. <laughs> no, no, it's okay, it's okay. Um, big boom. Okay. So yeah, they changed that. You have to go on the wall if you wanna get to the left side. So you're mainly funneled into the right and to up here. They changed the sizes of, of these boxes. Um, I don't know what that does specifically. Probably more cover. Uh, what else did they change? I don't know. They added a box. Some other stuff. They added more direct paths to, uh, to uh, the defending team's uh Respond, Supposedly, it's more it's more balanced. Like I definitely see, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. They added some height in there. Yep. I definitely see how for the for the um, defending team is gonna be easier to go basically to your base, yeah, right? They can just like spawn in, go up the wall, go down, go down, and basically, if you wanna climb up, it's gonna be so much harder to go all the way around. Um. So one thing for the so I uh, uh, your team blue right so you're defending. Yes. Okay. Well, I, I I I'm team green so I'm mainly gonna be from the perspective of someone that attacks. Um, I guess one of the main ways to attack would be through the middle. Just throw yourself at the at the um, ultra signal while the thing is up here. Um, and then otherwise just try to paint and defend. So I have messages from Sleepy. First time chat, Discord still on screen. Yes, I'm sorry. Bo, I'm angry because I'm on defending team for the third time. Stop choosing Damn. Stop choosing Big Man, what can I say? I had to but I'm fine with it. Because of the new map playout is super beneficial to the defending team crew. First of all, never let anyone get the L plus in all. True, yeah. Because the ultra signal, basically, the more you throw yourself, you, yourself at it, the less time it's going to take uh, the next time to get it. Uh, so basically, even if you don't get it uh, this time, just at least like grabbing it once is already helping. 
so the attacking teams really need to be pushing a lot. B basically, like, be super aggressive. Which is probably... It doesn't help that I've always picked some more backline slash uh, support weapons. Um, yeah. Also, red team here totally destroyed the competition. Damn. Um, where are you guys saying Vic and I's matches were really good. Nice. Yeah, we had a we we have a seventeen win streak right now. Oh, he's so gonna be Murphy's uh... low. The team I choose gets defending Tricolor no matter what. Yeah. Okay, let's get to your match. So you only only have you sent some non Tricolor said... matches. I, 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 yeah, I think yeah, I said. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you so, wanted a uh, tricolor or both. First one is this one. Play, victory. So, I guess are are you more focused on your POV? Do you want to have specific tips for yourself or just in uh, general I'd for? Say, uh, in general, because uh, because. With the other perspectives maybe it'll help me a bit more. Okay. So what are the team comps real quick? We have two bubbles, which is very good actually for defending. Um smart. Uh Clash Blaster for hitting around corners and is that picture? No, it's not, it's uh but No okay, it's uh, it's um uh, yeah. saw an Got him. Um yeah, Octobrush also is good if you take the, the height, because it, it can hit above. Okay, they also have an Octobrush, they have the Julies, they have the Tugal, which has defense and also big bubbler with the roller, that's cool. Um, so mainly if I see any, any annoying pushes, it will be from the green team. Uh, let me go up real quick, ooh, darn, that's a lot of bloom, what? Yeah, the, that, that uh, roller and, uh, had a pretty good idea on what to do. Okay, you guys put the two bubbles, that's very good. Very good defense. I like the Clash Buster. Ooh, that's the green team, yep. I, it's it's kind of hard, because it's not, it's not playing... Uh, the same way as a normal match would, so it's kind of hard to understand what's happening, where the players are, right? Because you can't really look at one team, like, there's only one player here. Meanwhile, there's the red team doing their own stuff, um, and you gotta, like, kind of see everything. I guess you can go into this view, it's better. Uh, yeah, lots of people throwing themselves at the middle. Uh, let me go back to you real quick. Which one are you? That's uh, victory, okay. I guess if you want to stop people for com from coming, you really need to. Uh, as long as the thing is is down, like if the if the wall is up, like that wall here in the middle, then you really need to focus on it and and maybe like start getting up on it, um, moving up and trying to paint th that tower a bit around around it. Maybe if you can even like paint the walls of the enemies, that way they they have a harder time going up. Uh, that way you're really, because that's an easy way for the enemies to get in and just like jump in and, and touch the sprinkler, the, um, I mean the ultra signal, to reduce the timer. So yeah, that, that you saw multiple enemies jump here. Uh, if the wall is down however, then you can just focus on painting like that side of the map, like that little corner here. Um, not really this one, because this one I don't see a lot of uh, players going there, like you can even see from the paint. Lots of paint here, lots of paint here, not a lot here. Like, not the wall isn't even inked, so they really never use that pathway. Maybe the, yeah, the, this team used it once. Otherwise, yes, it's not really gonna be used. So, mainly defend the wall when it's up and defend um, the, the sides, the corner, whenever it's down. Alright. But the 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 plays with the bubblers were very smart. Yeah, we uh, the the comp we always decided on was like it had double junior every single time. Double junior was just working for us really well.
Uh, Bo. Wait. No, 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 no. Vic, good nice matches. It's gonna be Murphy's alone. Okay. Sleepy cameo. Oh my god, yes. The Splatfest will be really even because of how close the halftime results were. And I, I mean, I don't think the halftime results being close indicates anything, really. About. Oh, you got 18 kills, darn. El Chavo. I feel like I know El Chavo no, for shatter. somewhere. That's <laughs> Oh, okay. That's why. Um, and then on the enemy team, it's kind of harder to read the enemy team scores because they they have like lots of icons. Um, yeah. They died a lot, and they didn't get lots of kills. That's all I can say. Though you can see the red team, the brush definitely got the sprinkler more, and the fact that it counts that is is good because then you can see. I mean, you can you can tell how much they contributed uh, because like going, the more you go at it, the better, the less time it's gonna take next time. So that's like it's a good metric for. If you did good or not. Yeah. Double double bomb junior. Yeah, so basically we can throw four bombs. Like in total. Because like Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I get I, what like, you mean. Three, two, and three, two, basically. Okay, so they've got Noculus and Zap. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be annoying in range. Then the miss battling and and the jewelries. Nice. I definitely like the the idea of like staying up here um, to basically have be able to cover that that the whole part of the map. Like if they flank from here, then you can cover them. If they gonna go from here, then you can also cover them, which are most likely like most of them are gonna go from from here. Like that guy. Actually, that's a, that's a good thing I'm noticing like that guy just went down maybe he could have went here and started inking up the, um, the defending base to basically stop and stifle the enemy base because like if you think about it the defending team um, they're, they're not like it's not four of them they're also spawning two and two so if you block that side of the map basically there's only gonna be two of the defending team people trying to cover it back up they're also gonna struggle uh, so if you cover one side, you, uh, you basically reduce the defending team forces by half, and that's it. So, so yeah, just just thinking right now, quick theory, maybe it would be more worthwhile instead of like going down into the fray, like into the enemy, because there's a lot of defending team ink. Just go here, try to like play as if you were on the defending team. Just start inking up slowly, cre creeping back up, getting back all the ink from from the blue team. Um, yep. That's definitely something I'm gonna investigate. Cause yeah, as honestly as the attacking team, we get so funneled in. Like, look at this, going to the right. That guy was behind. He's dead. This guy, where is he? Where is he gonna go? He's right. He could go up there. Well, he's dead. Uh, what's the red team doing? Yeah, right. It's either that wall. Yeah, he's saying this way, but what are you gonna do this way? Because that whole side is, is covered. If if the defending team just comes down here and fires at you, you're dead. Right? They're going... Yeah. I mean, you guys are playing great. You guys are doing good, right? Right now, like, it's less about, like, giving you guys tips because you're already doing good. Like, double, double big bubbler. Like, right, see, the wall is up. You did what you did. Big These are more of, like, for people to... Uh to yeah learn how to defend against you I mean attack against you whatever also it's so weird like how you, you guys like from your POV you, you get close to the the ultra signal but you don't grab it it's so stressful I'm like ah I want to jump and get it yeah Dying. You're in a C, like you had so much paint in, in the attacking team base that you could even go there and just throw bombs from there. <laughs> All the way there. That's just, crazy. It's just a uh, perk. Very good perk. I wonder what kind of weapons would be good. Or Definitely junior. Ink efficiency and being able to throw bombs easily yeah. without much punishment is really, really key. It's a big key on, uh, like in terms of zoning people out of mid. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, for the attacking team. Oh. 
rather. Okay, Diego has zero kills, uh, 12 death, interesting. He, he got the sprinkler, the, uh, the ultras, I, I keep mixing up the two. But yeah, he got it four times. So my games were terribly ass, because I kept uh, playing dumb weapons. So my first one, my first one which we saw, they didn't really look at my gameplay, but that was the, um, that gun, the dualies. Then I had uh, that gun, uh, which is very not practical. Then I, I went ahead and picked that thing, which is also very support oriented and not practical. And then I picked that thing, which is very awkward to fight on this map, because uh, you need like yeah. lots of range, open sight lines, which is not something you've got on this map a lot, I think. Or maybe I just jumped down into the fray with that gun a lot. Which is basically what I did. That umbrella so. is supposed to survive a lot of shots. Shooting the shield gives it a lot of survivability. Yeah, well, it's kind of hard on this map, though, because I, I feel like if you if you put your tent umbrella down, like, first off, it's it's very hard to get to through the middle. Um, like, the only real place where I was able to throw the tent umbrella was down in, on the ramp, going up into the into mid. Which, like, if you throw it there, the enemies, uh, I mean, the defending team, right, they're on the... Wait. Whoop, whoop, okay. So, if I throw it right there, which is mostly where I was able to throw it, as you can see. Like, I'm kind of stuck here, right? The, he scanned me, I need to back off. I throw it there, what am I going to do? Because that guy can use the ramp and just get in and kill me, which is exactly what he did. And yeah, that, that guy is really good with uh, Tetra Julius. So, yeah, the... the Really, that we that weapon, the um, tentable, is really not e efficient on that map. Maybe I should have tried more here, because actually now that I think about it, you've got way more open space in that area, so it's it's more space to play around your shield, and also you've got like some bits of cover you can go down. That space also has a lot of um, covering here, like when the wall is down, it's it acts as cover. Because uh, yeah, I don't know what I was doing going all the way over there. I guess I didn't die. <laughs> I guess I survived a lot, but what am I gonna do? Like, nothing. Um, it's, just, it's just surprising me how much paint the blue team is able to get on on this map. Yeah, it it they, feels uh, like you're drowning in bases. ink. Yeah, they, they extended the bases and removed a bit of the, uh, the space from the attacking team. Yeah. Like, especially both of us, we had like two umbrellas, it was so annoying to get to get pain in our base because we want to get up close and get our shields into the enemy's faces um, so we're not really painting and we're leaving the blue team here if the blue team just comes down bam they can just paint even more um, I guess our main approach option because the, the blue team is gonna go through here right if I try to put the shield on the ramp they're gonna like jump down I guess we need to take height uh, so maybe probably taking long if you if you're gonna take longer range weapons like I t I took the the blaster pro I should probably stay on these grates right here which I didn't because I obviously jumped down like a dummy um, I've never really seen anyone like right the two of them are going here maybe like someone can get right here get behind take control of this right because if you if you manage to get up there. The, the, the blue team, if they want get to get you down, they're gonna have like to go all the way around again, as you did. And then while you're there and they ignore you, you can just like paint so much paint back. And, and basically, if you do that, then the enemy team has one less side to retreat. So they, they're gonna be forced to retreat there, maybe encounter the, the other team. Um, yeah. Cause see, why, why did I do that? There was no ink down there. I'm. J oh yeah, I know, cause the timers run out. Sure. Yeah. So what are people saying? Hydras have a really good advantage on Sturgeon Shipyard. Yeah. Um, that's probably a good idea. I, I considered picking the Hydra, but I, I didn't wanna. Seem too obvious. I hate obvious things. <laughs> Can I send you VOD for Tricol? Yes, surely. Go ahead, Mayo. Mio. Uh, uh, Chris, I'm going now. Okay. Thanks okay. for the bot reviews.
<laughs> no problem. Thanks for tuning Thanks, in. Sir. Um, Bo says, I have a big brain ID, so the halftime winner can choose tricolor, but has to play it every five to seven matches. Um, I don't know what that means. 45 would be better. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I guess let's take a look at more of my games. So we have this one with um, the H3 nozzle -on nose. I think for this one, I might stay up on the on the top view like as much as I can all the time. Not necessarily like analyzing the map. Oh, hello, hello. Hi. We're doing some VOD review. Uh, VOD review of Tricolor. We're trying to figure out how to play the map because it's it's really hard. Wait, is it a new map? Tricolor. Oh, seriously, check it out. Oh god. Yeah, but they revised the map a bit. So hold on. Um, how do I zoom? Okay. Yeah, they revised the map. So basically, here it's a ramp down going down for the for the. Um, the defending team so basically they have a mm -hmm. way bigger spawn like that side of the map usually it's very small uh, in the in the normal game modes but here it's like big they have a lot of ink uh, where they can move around if like if you try to push them in here they'll have a lot of playing space uh, and then they can just like sit on top of that block just ink everywhere if they want to go down they can go down one level two levels bam they're already into your base and if you want to do the inverse and go to their base you have to climb up that wall here, then you have to go all the way around, and it's very hard. So mainly, what you what you're gonna see that the the attacking teams are doing, they're going through the right, the ramp, and also on the wall. But that wall is not even in. Like we didn't even try to go there. And if we look on mm. the other side, same. We never try to go there, and I think that's to our disadvantage. Cause I see. It, it makes it way easier if if the uh, the the defending team, if they want to defend. They're mainly gonna look at this part and this part. It's very predictable where we're gonna go. Like we're not even trying. If we're going through the right, right, we could go there and just go to the enemy's base from from here, right? But can, oh, you yeah. see the entrails. The entrails, they're like they go up to here and then they just drop down the same way as if you went down from the ramp. Same in here. It's like Sturgeon ship shards. There's only there's only two ways. Like right now, I'm like thinking about like how to get the. Uh, there's only four ways to get the that signal because you can go like uh when the ramps go up you can like come, climb on top of there or you can just ram it in and reset it. That's a bad idea. True. I mean, the, as long as you touch it and like the next time it's gonna have a um, slightly lower timer, which is good. So just throwing yourself at it is also a very good strat. The thing is like you need to get there in the first place. Um. So I figure. And weapons with more mobility, more ways to paint, like a burst bomb would be good. Grief slider is also very good, as you as you mentioned. Um, and also, or, or like maybe Hydra is good if you stay on on these grates and firing up there. Uh, but definitely, what I want to see more in my next games, whenever I play, is just going on the left side more, and maybe even getting on this block and just kind of ruining the paint in for the for the defending team. That way, they're kind of forced to play on one side. Um, I see. Uh, yeah. Yep. I, th I thought you were gonna stream it, so I just went straight to your channel. Because I saw you and Vic, so I didn't want to mess up. I didn't want to mess you guys up, so I just kind of waited until <laughs> no, it's fine. until someone left. So yeah, I, I feel like this map kind of funnels you in. You feel like you only have mm -hmm. one option, when really you have a lot. It's just that seeing a wall where you need to paint it to go around into a place that's near the enemy's base, it kind of feels... Wait, no, I didn't want to play again. Whoops. You um, need help? You need help with anything? No, I mean, if you have tricolor games that you want to send in, just go ahead, that way we can review them. I... wait, I can play tricolor and see... You've not played them, uh, tricolor matches yet? No, I have. I, oh yeah, wait. Oh crap. Okay, wait, let me, let me just review mine. I'm gonna review mine nice. and see. Uh, Bo has some codes. 
I have to find tricolor. Uh, in the in the replays, since it's a different game mode, it's like separated. It's like it's separate. You can see it. Oh yeah. It's pretty cool. I can do a vic. Do you want me to do like a defeat or like a victory one? Whichever, all of them. It's it's good. We're just learning the map basically, learning some strats. Mainly as an attacking team person, I'm gonna see it from the perspective of like how can we uh, attack the defending team better, right? Because like. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if you look at the the way the map is currently, or at least like the way people play on it, um, it's more <laughs> so advantageous for the defending team currently. Because we haven't figured out the strats, if there are any. Does it matter which weapon I used? Nope, doesn't matter. Okay, because I, mean, I have a I have a weapon. Because I I'm gonna send in one that has the 52 gal with me in the middle. So I'm just gonna watch it to see how it looks. Because I am, I am good and good to me. Because I try to keep myself up, like people say, until I bring myself down. So. Uh, okay. Wait, is there a button missing? Was there an extra there... button in in that menu, or is it just me? A drop in menu? Yeah, that menu here. Like, there's only seven buttons. I feel like there was one more. Maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> well, I... I'm gonna... I'm, wait. I need to first know how um, you can send it. Because I don't know how to send it, so I'm, I'm gonna have to figure you, you it out. You can send it in the channel, the replay, review, replay thing. Okay, Feedback code. on replays. Do um, you, like, click it and it'll give you a code for it? Or, like... a lot okay maybe it's view replays uh view re yeah you go on to view replays then you find the the replay that you want to share then you click upload and you've got the code Bo says i've got every okay. amiibo nfc tag because they arrived today and now i have every amiibo gear thing nice and i want my golden toothpick back wait should uh, i dm you or, or like just put it in like the uh yeah just the feedback on replays channel but if, uh, it would make a lot of sense if they make tricolor its own category that that's besides... Oh, the, vo the voice chat channel? Uh, no, the feedback on replays. The one where people send um, their replays for VOD reviews. Uh, so, uh -huh. I mean, just for review. Feedback on replays? Yep. Okay, okay, I'll send it there. Tricolor its own... Uh, yes. RR. R uh, Re Regal Splatfest, you mean? R -R 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 yes. Uh, I mean, it I is that different category. Are you streaming right now? Yep, but I'm, I'm doing the VOD review. Oh. Oh, you're doing it right now? I try, I, I, try, I looked on your channel and I couldn't find it. That's why I was like... Oh, it's on Twitch. I'm, I'm streaming it on Twitch. Because, yeah, oh. after I'm doing, doing it on Twitch, I take the video, I edit it, and then I put it on YouTube. That's why. I guess I can... I guess I'll download... Twitch just this once. I might start streaming on YouTube at some point more, but for now it's just easier to do it on, on Twitch because on YouTube for you have to make a, a separate thumbnail for each and every single stream you're gonna do, which is not how like Twitch it's more like you just tune in and you stream and you play some games and you just chill and that's it. You don't have to make a thumbnail. It's not like a big thing or anything. Um, in results, Put it. Oh my god, it's just so long. Okay, code. Go to code. So the code is RR5U. I think I took it. Six. LS. OVDQ. I should get Twitch soon, but this is the only time I'm getting it. The only thing that I'm what the why what? Oh, you changed your name to Water. Interesting. What do you mean? It was always Water. Was it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I never saw vods from you, so I don't know. Uh, tricolor. Hello, hello. Are you guys seeing water? Nope. Um, uh, not me. I'm water? Uh, 
Dang it. Well, we'll see y'all later. Uh, whoop. Big man. So let's check the game from Frog. So Frog, what, what, what are you looking for? Um, I mean, it's not Frog, it's Mio. Oh my gosh, you're bamboozing me. Um, are you looking for tips for your the specific weapon you're using, or or just general for tricolor? Um, team grass, okay. Anything, okay. So let me check. You've got the 52 gal on your team. The enemy team has. I mean, the enemy. The, the red team, fire team has spider shot and tanker missiles. That's the weapon. Um, defending team. Why are all my videos. usernames unavailable? Why? Probably because a lot of people have that name. Um, right. Like, like, because, like, you know the codes that you can use. Um, I mean, uh, no. When, when you pick a name, right, you have a code at the end that differentiates you from the other ones. But if you pick one name that's going to be used a lot by everyone, then probably all the codes have run out. That means like 10,000 people have already picked that name. <laughs> 10,000 people already picked Trap Team. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm oh. thinking of random things in my, in my living room now. Um, Coke, okay, no Coke. No Coca Cola. Let me focus maybe, on the game. Maybe. So they have uh, the fast respawn weapon, they have the one. the 96, which has the. Um, Disruptor, the, not the disruptor, the special that acts as a uh, disruptor. Okay, you got the thing, nice. So they got the blue guy, they got the thing, they got stuff. Okay, let me just focus on the game real quick. How's the game state going? You guys got lots of ink. Red team is still struggling a bit. But I definitely see blue team having way less pain. Granted, we've already got the. Oh, you got the two of them? Epic. You know what? I kind of want to go back real quick to see when you got it and how you, how exactly you got it. Because uh, I, I want to learn. I want to learn. Mm -hmm. You're hiding there. Mm-hmm. The fact that you managed to survive these things is pretty cool. Why am I Your going through all dead? of this just for those tips? I'm just gonna- I'm gonna delete Twitch after this. This is gonna be more annoying. Okay. 2002. 2002. I mean, I mean, do, do you have to install the app? I mean, you're- Yes, I'm installing it right now. I'm doing all the sign-up stuff. But can you not uh, do that on the website? It's, uh... I am just struggling and struggling. <laughs> I, now I gotta think of another username. What was it? He he he. Oh uh, wait, you meant a new a new username for the um, for the um, Twitch? Okay, I thought it was for Splatoon. Okay, sign up. Okay, and verification for no. So what happened here exactly? You killed one. Then he grabbed that. He killed another one with the fifty. Okay, then you defend. Yeah, and where was the other one? Still dead. Oh. I guess that works. Um, and then the next one. Where'd you, where'd you grab it? Okay. Well, I don't know how you grabbed it, but you did. So that's cool. Um. And you got it at once. Like okay, you didn't, you didn't have to go multiple times. It was definitely good timing on your part. Okay, what's your stream code? Oh my god, that took way too long. It's it's um in the feedback on replay channel. You can check it, and that's good because I'm gonna check it check your game right now. It it's on feedback on replays this whole time, huh? I could have just checked. I could have just checked that. Oh, it's right about your message. I'm, I'm deleting that. That's why Twitch is annoying. Oh, I need Twitch? Yeah, it's on Twitch. Oh, no, I can I just have the okay. link to Twitch on... Okay. There we go. 
Okay, so the, this Thank is your you game. Me. This is your game. Oh! Okay. Whew! Get a painting in the middle. Okay, Goblin JJ. Mm -hmm. Giga, Giga Chat. I don't know why he's doing his painting the walls. What the fuck? Whatever, you guys got so much paint. Um, you're definitely going aggro on them. In their, I mean, aggro. You're pushing up in their base a bit more, which is good. I'm, I'm, for me, it looks like you just started watching it. Like, I'm in the middle. I'm like, that was crazy. Oh man, seeing myself was amazing. <laughs> okay, nice play with the wall. Putting wall for defense. That guy's dead. He tried to put the big bubble up there. Uh, map, map, map. Okay, that guy tried to go on the left side, which is good. I love using see, that I, wall. I, I, I definitely see, like, right now, how you guys are all gathered up, um, bunched up in that location, because that guy was trying to push over here. So I definitely see when that happens, the red team could basically go through that wall and just sideline everybody, because you're all going to be gathered here. Uh, so yeah, like... Two of my teammates just split apart. Like they, they went the opposite ways at the end, I think. I'm not sure what okay. happened. Two green guys are dead. I guess it's mainly like, looking at every time I die, every time I die, uh they get the, they get one. They get an ultra signal. It's because like I don't like without me they're not like in like the circle. I because I, I don't usually say this way, but like um, I put a wall on top of there so they can't you so they can't like surprise me with a squid surge. Uh, what I'm trying to look at right now is um, whether like how the HUD basically like because the two the the blue team is separated in two when they respawn. There's like two on this side, two on the other side. So like maybe um, the HUD basically the, uh, the the two that are gonna respawn on one side are on the on the left or right side of the HUD. So basically what you could do if you if you know which one it is, uh, whenever you see one of the blue members go down, maybe two of them on the same side, you know, okay, I'm gonna start pushing on this side because nobody's gonna be there. Um, so right now I see, I know that the um, sploosh comes from the bottom. I'm just waiting for you to die to see where you respawn, but I don't know if you die <laughs> in this game. I, I know, I know, I don't okay, you I die. I think. So Let's you see. Go. There's only one way to know. Oh yeah, I think I die on every time I'm on the little edge. I always die. It's so sad. But you, how do you jump so far? Me? Yeah, because I think you res you respawn from the bottom, but you you. Oh, I died. Here you go. Here you go. You you jumped all I the way over. to the to I'm the middle of the over. map. Uh, anyways, what are the chat messages saying? Um, anything? Okay, yeah, there's 10,000 possible combinations with four digits. Uh, the oh. Neon Wyvern says, I just got bodied by a Rapid Blaster in Tricolor. It w I was grass, they were water. Uh, if you do want to send this this replay, uh, feel free to go ahead. That way we can, we can learn some stuff. Bo says, that's good for me. They should have removed Surgeon Shipyard in the first place. Is is a bad map. No, not true. Stop hating. But it's it's a good map. It's a kind of good map. And, and they and they they changed it. They changed the layout, and now it's more balanced. I mean, they did. I thought, I thought it was the same. Nah, because before you, it was kind of like the same as normal uh, turf war. And basically, the attacking team could go could go from the right the right side, the left side, the middle tower, kind of everywhere. Uh, whereas now it's more like you see people funneled into the to the ramp and also the the grates a lot more. Uh, so it's def it's definitely changed. Like like do you see on normal tower four you have like the two paths around the towers, whereas here you have one you were like it's blocked off. I mean sure you're playing from the defending team's POV so you don't really see that. But like basically you didn't we see my stats. I didn't uh, know you could see my stats. That's crazy. Yeah, it's cool. So yeah, you, you only died once at the end there. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, I only died once. I swear I died like fifteen times. And I felt like that uh, because yeah. like when I play Surgeon's Ship Shard, it's just like when when the bridges rise up, there's a lot more chaos because 
you have more places to defend instead of just two main bridges. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Kinda. Yep, yep, no, it makes sense. Uh, are right. people sending some... Nope. But Neon uh, says, yeah, we've already done tricolor on this map for rock, paper, scissors. Very variety would be nice. Well, okay, he here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's my little um, segments, little segments ranting about why tricolor is good and uh, people should stop complaining. So first off, tricolor, it's it's like people say they want shifty station back. Um, because Shifty Station had like fun gimmicks, every single Splatfest it was different. So yeah. the the thing I I have to answer to this is that Shifty Station was, in terms of design, it was always the same designs, right? It was the same reused map and assets. The layer was different, and it was cool. Every single time you had a new gimmick that they took from the single player, which is very cool, very fun. Here. It's kind of the same. They're reusing existing maps, but ideally, all the time is going to be a different map, a very, a very interesting looking map. Because they, we have like the Scorch Gorge, we have whatever. Sure, right now they reuse two of like the same that we already had before, uh, but in concept we have more variety of designs, and in concept we also have the same gimmicks. Because we had gimmicks in all the shift station stages, and here we also have one gimmick. Which is the um, the ultra signal at the um, the sprinklers of doom? Agreed. It's it's granted. It's not as much variety as we got on Shifty Station because we had a new one every single Splatfest. But it's still a gimmick. It's it's not as good, not as creative as Shifty Station probably, but it's still good enough. Um, and it's also more competitively viable. I would say. I don't know. And, and here's the thing also, people complain about, oh, we already got this map, and oh, it's not balanced. Uh, they should, like, make entirely new maps for it and, and stuff. Here's where I disagree. Uh, Tricolor Turf War is so new that nobody knows how to balance it correctly. Not even the devs, not no one, nobody know, knows how it plays. So the thing right now, instead of asking for brand new maps, that they wouldn't even know how to design them. Like, that's the point. Why would you expect the team to be able to make a whole new map that works well with this mode when they can't even make an existing map work well on this mode? Th that's uh, that's what I don't understand. And the reason why, in my opinion, right now they're using an older map and they're reusing it, it's because they 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 were like, okay, that was a total failure last time. It was totally unbalanced. Let's see if we understood what was wrong and if we can fix it. And basically right now what they're doing is testing, oh, are the changes we've done good enough? Like, did we understand what went wrong and did we manage to fix it? And if that works well, if, if right now everything is going good, basically it means that they learned enough and that the next map should be much better for Tricolor. That's my opinion. Like, I can see your point because like every shitty station, you don't know where you're going. You're just trying to figure out the map before it goes bye bye in two days, yeah. or like one day. I think one day it was in Splatoon too. But yeah. since it's just two consecutive maps, maps, you get a better view of where to go and how mm. to play. So admittedly, I'm not at all disagreeing with the fact that Shifty Station was very very fun to play on, and the gimmicks were very nice. Um, so yeah, I did. I definitely see why people are asking for Shifty Station, but I don't like when people basically say that um, tricolor is that they should make new ma they're like we don't want them to change the maps we want them to make entirely new maps if if you, what you want is shifty station just say so but don't say that shifty station was a new map every time it was a new layout and here we also have new layouts so it's kind of the same and al also there's a gimmick which is the same every single tricolor spot fest but it's still a gimmick um, but yeah, anyway. In the manga, in the manga, you can it kind of like grew a point because in the manga, it said like it like reuse shifty stations, but just different uh, models. Yeah, it's it's because I, th I think, um, I, I'm not sure, but I believe that it's it's not shifty stations, it's shifty station, uh, not plural because it's only oh. one, it's just shifting, right? It's always shifting because Marina keeps remaking it, so yeah, yeah. Um, in, the, in the manga, there was three. No, there was, there was two stations. 
shift shifting whatever you said whatever you just said shifting stations uh there was the rocket one like what's it the squid rockets they use your own, you know you know those rockets the old, uh cannons yeah from the um, yeah the enemies yeah they brought that they brought that one in the manga they brought that and then they brought the oh man grammar uh, they brought the little super, the squid launcher thing. Oh my! God. Yeah. I had to like re I had to like do the whole hero mode again. Those little, those little pads that make you like go faster. Those speed pads. Yeah. Let me read the chat real quick. Bo says the next right color is gonna be Eagle Tail Ali because someone leaked it probably. I mean, you know, they could always change change it. Um, Eon Wyvern. Says I like tricolor. By the way, a different mat would have been preferred, though. Yeah, indeed. I mean, it's it's understandable. I I think everyone would have wanted a new map, even the devs, honestly. But like, it's just more beneficial for them to try to learn from their mistakes and actually fix that old map and make it better, and just like see what people think. Like, if they are like, oh, it's still trash, it's still unbalanced. And from what I've seen, it seems to be more. I mean. I don't know, because currently the attacking team is struggling, but that's maybe just because we're playing like like ass. Um, but it seems to be working. It seems to be working, the, the things that they've done to the map. Uh, Tricolor on Shifty Station is basically just confirmed Splatoon 4. <sighs> maybe, I don't know. 3, 2, Splatoon 3, 2, okay. Um, anyways, let's see more games. Do we have any more games? Neon Wyvern, do you want to send yours? Your, your, I'm trying um, to fuck up. I, I can't get any more tricolor. I'm just dying with tricolor. Tricolor is very hard to get by for as an attacking team person. <laughs> if you're not sure, yeah, we do, we do. We do want lots of games. It's what review time. We need we need more, and we don't have a lot because it's hard to get by uh, tricolor matches. So as as many people need to send them as they can. All the games. I think I, I I used to have them, but I think they went back. Like the more matches you play, like mm -hmm. just... what happened to our base. Uh, you want a grass win or a grass loss? Either, both of them. It's good. We, ju we just want to learn. Learn. Do you like get inspired by like good school or like you just started doing it? Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um. Uh. Squid school is cool. It's nice. Um, I like talking. I like, I mean, I, I like, I like writing essays, right? The thing is, I would spend so much time, um, like, answering people in the text chat about their, their uh, reviews and stuff. I mean, I mean, I mean, about their replays and, and giving them feedback, writing them, like, huge chunks of text, uh, which sometimes scares off people. Uh, thing is, like, that, that would be too much dedication to do. Um, and also, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't feel like like getting my switch out to get the the replay codes and stuff like this. Uh, but doing it in video format is much easier because then I can justify being on my switch because I'm, I'm on Twitch. I'm playing the game anyways. Uh, usually when I do that, so I, I'm already on my switch. I'm already on Splatoon. I can just pop the code. Everybody can tune in. And yeah, since Squid School does it in video format and it's very practical, and and for example, whenever I, I watch dude uh, play the games, it's very insightful. Just the video format is great, and mm -hmm. it also helps me motivate myself to watch the replays to do it in video format. I see. Uh, the maps change, but not uh, tricolor, unfortunately. I guess no, not. I mean, fortunately, actually. You <laughs> wanna... Yeah. Hmm, what would be a good weapon? Uh, as a defending team, I would suggest, from what I've seen from Victory, just the 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 Splattershot Junior is very good because it has the okay. um, double splat bomb and it has the big bubbler, which is very good at double um, splat bombs. Uh, yeah, because you you have the bigger ink tank, so you can throw two of them, 
Um, and then if you pop the blobbler, you can have uh, another set of two bombs I to spam, and you also have the big bubbler to defend the. the I can only throw one. Signal. I can only throw one slap bomb, but okay. You can only throw one. Well, maybe yeah. you need to stack a bit of um, of sub. Saber. Oh yeah, I have. I only have main. Because my main goes fast. Yep. Or like. My other main. But but like the ink tank should be a bit uh, a bit bigger, so you should be able to throw two in uh, decently quick succession. I I believe but from what I I've think heard. Splash Junior has the same one. He's like last time I saw Splash Junior uh, had the box, but Bo says I only see, I honestly just want this platform done already. Um, hey, it's... synergy bonus. You going? It's... It's true that the Splatfest now that they take two days consistently in, instead of like only for special events, it's gonna last longer. So if you if you like bored of Splatfest really quick, um, or, or basically if you if you want to play Splatoon more ranked mode and stuff all day, like every, every single day, then is instead of one. just having one day where you can't and just the next day ba you're back to normal, it's gonna be like two days where you can't play as you would like. So yeah, I definitely see how it can be annoying. Um, though I guess it's better for casuals, because they're they're like, Oh fuck, there's a spot that's going, oh I guess I'm gonna tune in. And then if they miss Are the first ever... day, they have the second one. I see. Are you ever gonna do uh, Splatoon 2 and 2 water queue? <laughs> Splatoon 2 water queue? Sure, why not? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if, if there are enough uh, Splatoon 2 clips that... Wait, no, I can't do that. Oh yeah, there's no clue. Uh, unless, unless you record your gameplay with um, but I mean it's much less practical than having an aerial view, as you can <laughs> with um, with the replay. I mean I guess if you go into private battles, you can also have an aerial view, but it, it's real time, so you can't do that a second time. You don't have another shot. I guess between three is like the best. Yeah. It's like games with um, replay features are amazing, and Splatoon especially. It's ah, I love the fact that they added replay. It's such a perfect match for for this kind of game to have replay. Kind of sad. Long just to get a review. Uh yeah I, yeah I need to review the guy in the chat. Uh sorry for the delay we, we've been talking. Um also I need a water stream. Ugh. There's so much stuff to do. Right now, I'm trying to get the. Uh, I, I just told you that in the fall. Um. I repeat stuff like a lot. Uh, R M R M. Uh, R M K W. Daf five. Oh wait, oh. Can they hear me like for Twitch? Uh, if they can hear you on, on Twitch? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> wow, you're on a you're on a video. You're on a stream. You're online. <laughs> uh from Neon Wyvern with the with the do list sculptures. What is going? There's nothing. Okay, let's check this one. Let's see what we can learn. Um, How many codes have you typed in today? Not a lot, because obviously tricolor tier fours are less. <laughs> Neon Wyvern says we can hear you, tree. You're basically famous now. <laughs> Yay! Let's go. Um, okay, nice painting, because you have a painting weapon. Let me just quickly... Is it Twitch delayed, or is it like... I can't tell, like... Um, um, is it, is it the, that's your... That, that... Your voice, or... The, uh... Computer's voice, I think. It's... God, oh my god, that was so confusing, even myself. Where were you going? I don't know what, what you're talking. Are, are you just bamboozled by your voice in the in the replay? No, I'm like, I'm not sure if like, if I if, like, I'm watching your uh, Twitch stream right now, and I'm not sure if it's like uh, like lined up. 
He's like, I, I'm, I, I'm not good at telling stuff apart, so... Yeah, so I think there's a bit of delay in my voice compared to the to the sound of the game, the, the music. Uh, that's something that happens, and also there's a lot of delay becoming real time. So like whatever I say, like uh, real time in the in the voice channel is gonna be way delayed compared to the what you see on screen. Because if okay, you cool. activate the sound, you're gonna hear me talk way later on on Twitch. Uh, but anyways, you guys got the the ultra signal a lot of times already. So yeah, the timer is already down a lot. Uh, Neon Wyvern, let's see how you play. How do I go? Okay, D-pad up. Let's see how you play with the Squelchers. Are they a good weapon for this? Again? Wait! Uh, yes, I got, my, I got my 10 times battle. I got a 10 times battle. Nice. Okay, come on. I got, I got the I got this. I got this. Holy, holy crap. Holy crap. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You definitely oh. are holding forward and just killing everybody. That not supposed to work but apparently it did and also you got a sprinkler uh, of doom okay i'm super stressed now so if i just like faint like this just mute this kick me out if i yeah. faint just kick me out no, no problem no problem good, good luck you i haven't got a 10 times battle i haven't even got like a like a five times battle that's not even a thing i've just been doing normal battles it's been so sad. Wait, can you get a 10 times battle on a tricolor? I I don't know. May maybe not. Uh, don't quote me on that. I think it might only be when you play uh, on on open that you can get, or maybe pro. But like not when you when you go into tricolor, because I I've never go gotten ones yet. Oh, never mind. No, actually, I think you can. Just being dumb. Yeah, the, it, it's so easy for the blue team to just get into into your base. It's so so easy. Oh, <gasps> you know what? I think a good weapon that could help you prevent the enemy team from going into your base as much as an attacking team would be weapons with ink mines, because then you can place the ink mines in strategic places. Because uh, if you think about it, the um, the, the area that the um, enemy team that the defending team has to go down, if they want to go down from the ledge into your base, the little corner where they have to do that is really small and tiny. So they're mostly gonna land in that same spot, and you can put an ink mine there. And whenever they drop down, they're gonna be tugged, they're gonna be marked, and you're basically like, oh, I need to focus on them now. You're, you're you can basically focus forward. On the sprinkle on the ultra signal and you're gonna be notified basically whenever they try to make anything any dumb plays and then you can start like Monty. getting rid of them yeah i am super stressed right now we're about to go in danger but we just need to like get these sloshers out of the way oh now yeah. there's a big bubbler that's great oh yeah, yeah we're you're done. trying the strat of of using the junior yeah they pro they protected the slosher machine because he does so much damage. Mm. Uh, hmm. I'm a go because it's late for me. Okay, see you, Bo. Thank you for tuning by for for passing by. Um, and yeah, for, for I think we went for one hour. If if any of you have more clips that you want to send, go ahead now. Otherwise, I think I might start playing playing some tricolor if I can get some matches and try to apply the, the tips. Come on! Let me let me find yes. a weapon that would be good. You you won? Yes, ten times. Buggers. Oh my God. Let's go. Uh, so what are the tricolor ever? Yeah, it's kind of ugh. It's just every time we every time I get a a tricolor, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, nah, I'm not winning this. Do you? Because uh, actually, the only time it was easy for the for the attacking team to win was in the in the open uh, thing, the test fire. And so after I'm, that, it's always been like more so advantageous for the defending team. Someone else sent uh, a, a feedback in uh, the 
in the reply. Someone else, I don't know who he is. Oh, that's you. <laughs> that's not me, you. That's oh, not man, me. you're right, you're water. That's that's tree that sent it. Mm, I wonder who that tree person is. Um. <laughs> yeah, see? Okay, no, I just looked all the way down and I was like, ooh. So. So, codes from the tree person R8 Q. I'll just do solo cues. Yeah, oh, yeah, by the way, sorry for uh, leaving you, Mr. Mio. Tree 7 H G A 8 M R H M. I'm gonna go to sleep probably. Oh, okay. Well, good night, Mr. Mio. Thanks for tuning in. Download the clip with the dually. It's interesting. Do you guys got any any uh, good looking fit for your team that matches the color? Nice. Wait, hold up. Ho hold on, hold on. I need to see something real quick. So we've got Alfie, Vogue, Theo, Arias, Water, Water, Oli, Jesse, Elm, Elm Tree. Okay, hold on. I need to watch that again. Start over. So, water, Oli, Jesse, dumpster fire. Water, Oli, Jesse, dumpster fire. Water, Oli, Jesse, dumpster fire. Okay, so it's in order. You start on the... So that was water and Oli. And we've got Dumpster Fire and Jesse on the other side, so it's definitely aligned. The question is, how is it aligned? Yeah, okay, so th there's a boat here. I'm just trying to understand. The boat is on the left side. And then that side. Oh, it's here. Okay. I don't know. Whatever. But at least we know that the two players are with one another. Um. Anyways, let's focus on the game. Uh. Sorry about that. I was just trying to figure out if the if the um, title card slash the UI. Uh, Tells you something about the location of the spawn points of the defending team. Okay, good defense. Start painting up over there. Good. And to paint over here. Maybe look at the map, I guess, would be a good strat to see where you guys can push. I guess, uh, yeah, everybody's dead on the blue team here. Ah, 
I don't know why there's so much gloom in this mode. Like when you look up. It's so weird. Because I don't even think that's a problem in normal matches. Tree. Oh, I was muted. I'm so dumb. Sorry. Oh, okay. Wait, do I have to pick uh, the class of Uh, do you? If you have, to, I don't know. You pick whatever you want. Okay, I was like, he's like, you said like that's uh, the, the recommendation. And I only use the map for uh, jumping. Yeah, well, the um, um, Vic used the um, the um, Splash Up Junior, and it worked well for him. What the white button do? What? Oh, maybe it resets the view, so that's why. The red team got a lot of pink. Well, they got the two sprinkles, that's why. Uh, Neon Wyvern says, Crap Tank seems to make sense as a defender. You just bow up and make it so no one can touch the signal. True. That's very true. I mean, but then he, the big bubbler can do basically the same thing. Though it's true that the crab can also act like as a defense and also as uh, a good paint tool. Then again, its weakness is getting flanked. And in this map, you're always getting attacked from both sides. Hmm. Well, unless you get into your bowl. If you're into bowl form, you're basically invincible. As long as it's it still has HP. Um, but yeah, but then the question if is if you're just going to stay in your bowl, then the question is why not use Big Bubbler? Because then your whole team can uh, use it. Uh, the crab is mainly like you, you are invincible and you do... It's mainly if you want to move around without, like, being killed. But then you, you need to go somewhere, right? It's only if you want to go from A to B without getting killed. Which I guess would be more beneficial for the attacking team than... They want to move up to a safer position without encountering the, the enemies. Yeah, Rapid Pro? Is that Pro um, or just... The Rapid Pro has like uh, the um, Toxic Mist and the uh, Engvac, which can both uh, slow down enemies, which is interesting if that's what you want to do. But it ha it needs to, uh, to stay s at such a large distance from the enemies to actually be able to hit the, the shots. So do mind that, you're gonna need to stay at very very long range. The thing is, like, it's it's more useful when you're playing in a game of four, because then you're gonna be playing less proactively, right? You're gonna mainly throw disruptors, use a special to slow enemies down, but then you're gonna have teammates to play off of that, right? They're gonna be able to use that um, opening you're creating to push effectively. The thing is, when you're playing tricolor, uh, oh, never mind. You guys are playing with four people, but yeah, I, I guess as an attacking team person. It's less useful, which is why last time that I run it, uh, it, ju it just backfired on me because I only had one other person to play off of that, and that is not enough. Like, sure, you're gonna slow enemies down, but then you only have one person to. Yeah, it's, it's not enough. Um, so, I guess let me. Just the fact that what the think? splotches were kind of random. What is this? Oh, that is very cool. Uh, anyways, VODs. Right here. Alright. Uh, replay code. So, a few. I think I've checked this one. We have three. I think three from now. So, let me, let me enter them. We have the first one from... Let me, let me check right here. Whoop. I go... Close this, I close this. Runs right here, okay. I do whoop additional window. This is Discord that we need. We can show Discord right here. Okay. So here we go. We got this one from Droid Zik Zikta something. Wait, uh I sent one in the chat. Yep, yep. I'll take a look at it. Is it tricolor? 
no. Okay. Is it um like Splatfest though? Yes, it it is Splatfest. Okay. Well, I'll I'll, I'll first check the tricolor games just because like to wrap up um the things that we were cause we were checking them just because I didn't check these yet. Doing stuff in order. Gel B Q six P O. My, the question is like, do you guys think the maps will come back next time? Um, like the for the tricolor I'll be bell. Right back. I'm gonna uh, go grab something to eat. Noted. Five XGA. Um, da -da 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 -da. it would be funny if they added a toxic city category to the team that has the most. That was the most toxic lost points. Interesting. I'm gonna take a pearl in marina locker. How did you get that font on Discord? Probably. Um, well, yeah, I, I did some shenanigans. The code you entered is invalid. Oh, it's not G A. It's J, -J A. Okay, good. From Dread Zecta. Because I think they had one apparently which was epic somewhere in there. I, I don't know. Um, so I, I'll, I'll take a look because maybe there's something I, I'm, I'm probably sure it's like a wipeout <laughs> as the attacking team or something um, uh, six uh, CU 9k 9k so yeah I'm, I'm really wondering basically if they're gonna bring back uh, this map at some point um, during uh, later Splatfest, right? Because if they rotate through all the maps, at some point they're gonna have maybe to go back again. M maybe not this one though, because since we already got it twice, maybe they're gonna rotate uh, other ones. But I feel like, I, I wonder if they're gonna reuse the same exact layout, because um, they're like, they seem to have figured it out better, or if they're gonna make even more changes next time. But I, I doubt the layout will, will see as such a drastic change as it got in between the the um, Splatfest preview pre world premiere and what it is now. I think like if they ever do changes, it's gonna be minor. Um, and then we got this one. Okay, so R G E Q uh, H E C Q. E EPMA. Sorry about having to input the code right now because I, I have no. zero preparation. Wait. Uh, Who said no and why was it so violent? I was, oh, sorry, I, was, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I, I was watching my video. No, D2. I'm doing Zekta again on Eel Tail 100x. Good. Uh, but, 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 I did a good bit of tricolor bar reviews, then we played a bit more. When I found the decks, and I think it's over. Yeah, that's me. There's something in the version. Hoping to get advice on my friend and I, what I could do better. This is a tricolor one. Um, whoop. Uh, R, U, W, 3, M2, X, Q. W B S Q B one D Okay. And then the la last one I think it is. Yeah, this one apparently is very extremely epic. Uh, yeah, no, they didn't spoil what happens. Um, but let's see, let's see. So R, K, H, D, um, four, and it's five point, no, it's S4. Uh, X, F, J, E, And then D H nine H okay D H nine H enter good don't wait 
boom, we're back. If you replay it, and then I hide the Discord we know because I am not dumb. I have learned. I have learned. Um, Mio says, can I send you Vile? Of course you can. Um, always, always do. Um, Frog's, uh, I'll check Frog's code later. Maybe I'll note it down though. I'll write it down somewhere. Um, something like in, in this one. Alright, I am back. Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, I've sent the bad DMs uh, your code just just so that it's there uh, so that I can input it later. So let's take a look at those matches uh, from Droid Zekta. Uh, here, I don't know if they're here or not. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. Okay. Okay. Oops, sorry. Uh, so what is happening on the map right now? I have done the food, it's too big. Um, going back to Projecta. I guess I can also check the map like this. I think it's gonna be more familiar. Right, okay. I don't know what the defending team are doing. Right I guess we've already like talked about the new layout of this map a lot. Do you, do you guys, any of you guys have any additional tips as defending? Because we definitely heard less tips for the defending team side. Because obviously as an attacking team member, I was doing it from the perspective of the attacking team. Oh, did, you, did you say something about the defending team? Uh, what, what did you say? Are you saying about like tips on... How to, uh, what is it? Yeah, on how to defend better. Because basically, as a, a since I'm attacking team, I'm, I'm more focused on giving tips for that. Hmm. And uh, yeah. well, I guess don't all like group up into the middle. True. But then like you can easily get wiped, and they can easily take the ultras. I mean, because it's it's very interesting to me the cons because I've like, never played it, so I don't know how she plays. That's kind of my idea. If you yeah. go there, you can easily get white. Because it, it's not really like like you guys are really into the middle and like pressed up, like the two teams pressing up against you. Because you guys have a, a basically a spawn Like I remember point. in the first Splatfest, everybody was just going for it until people actually decide to play a bit better. Yeah. Because... Uh, like, I mean, if you look at the map, like, now that they've changed the map, you do have basically a spawn point. So, basically, there are four spawn points on either side of the map and on the on the two sides. So, I guess you guys can just chill back there and you have a pretty good vantage point. So, you, you don't really have... It's not like you're stuck in the middle and the two teams are, are sandwiching you. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I would have liked to be able to play some defending matches uh, just to get an idea of how it is and give better tips. But let me tell you, the, the best thing to do is to not die. Well, yeah, obviously, duh. But, because, like, usually whenever you're in a 2, a 4v4, what you do is, like, whenever they got too much paint, you back off. The question here is, where do you back off? Because, obviously, I mean, I, I guess you can back off to your, like, sort of sp spawn, and you have, like, the big block to fire up from. So I guess this would be a good strat. Okay, good. Mm. Quick replay. Next one from from water from tree, tree water. This is your game. Are you still ha here? Nope, they're not here. Oh. Uh, Okay. 
Next one. Junior as the defending team, okay. Let's let's just see one match just from the POV of a defending team player. See how 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 it feels basically, where the pressure comes from, where you can back off. Because yeah, I definitely see if everybody just stands on the in the middle of the map, it's definitely gonna be crowded. Like, it feels like someone just comes up to you, they start shooting, and they have basically line of sight on everyone. Like, that whole little square is definitely not a good place to stand on. I guess you do have some cover. Um, like, if you go here, you have this little bit when the wall is down, and you can chill down there. So that's uh, that provides you additional cover from, from like the red team. They're definitely not going to reach you over there. And if the, the green team tries to come to you, you have that little block here, that little cross block, that you can like use as cover, kind of. Um, and I guess you can also like just shark in there and and chill. You don't don't really have to get seen. Yeah, like water, water is playing very. I mean, they they shark at some points, which is good. It's useful. And I also wonder how it feels to have the Sprinter Doom just like be annoying. How does it change the the game flow? Is it the old one? Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm doing your vibe right now. Because like. Mm -hmm. If, if the two teams get the Sprinklers of Doom, I feel like you're gonna have a lot of pain. It's gonna be basically an uphill battle trying to paint more than the Sprinklers. You'll always Honestly, have to as paint. As long as you don't let one team get two of them, I think you'll be fine. True, because then it's on, on either sides and you, you still have the middle to play around it. Yeah, because if one team gets it, then the Sprinklers then are... It's, then yeah. it's in the middle, which is the hardest. Yeah. I guess I would probably, what I would do is always have uh, a slayer type weapon, like a close range fighting weapon that just chills besides the blocks, not in the in the square in the middle, but like just instead of like standing in, inside of the, um, the little block, let me, let me show you, like whoop, these ones, like you see that little square, you can just chill on the edge, on the outside of it, and if someone tries to grab the thing, you're hidden behind, like they mostly won't shoot at you from behind, and you can just like peek. And shoot at them, and then you're fine. I just Cause... camp underneath. I just... That also works, but I, I guess my 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 theory is that if you stand on the edge, like m most people, when they try to get to the middle, they're not gonna shoot at it. And and usually, whenever they try to approach, they approach from the right ramp, and and basically their trajectory is like a diagonal, right? So if you stand on the edge of the block. This is not in their path, it's like slightly to the right, so you're gonna be mostly safe. And I, I, I hate that I don't have a way to show it, like to visually... Because everything is in my head and I, I can't really... Uh, visit the map with this layout, because there's no way. The, the recon mode doesn't allow you to see tricolor maps. Oh wait, uh, question, what are you doing on uh, my battery play? Um, oh well, shit! First, I'm gonna do the um, the replays from the tricolor matches uh, just to finish up the tricolor vod review, and then uh, I'm gonna move on to 100x battle. Yup, and you fail. Wait, that's not a, a tricolor. Whoops. <laughs> Who won the tricolor? Uh, I don't know. The the results are not out yet. Um, I'm in the bot first. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, Mia says, wait, are you doing only tricolor replay? Yeah, but we only have two to go over and then I'm moving on to a normal replay. Okay. Spot plus N. Uh, 
the spot just ended? Yeah, it did end. So this is from uh, the two players in the game. Uh, what did you do? Did you do? Did you do? Did you do? Oh yeah, I think we get a back from the team like 29, this is what we could do better. Um, in the perfection. Okay, uh, let's see. We could do better. Let me how this the map looking. Well, that was definitely an insecure push, because the, um, the, there was a lot of defending team paint. We still got it though, that's cool. But I guess I guess it doesn't matter if you don't get it, so you because you still reduce the timer and that's a good thing. It's always advantageous to just throw yourself at it. Especially if you have a fast moving weapon like the the ink brush, it's fine to just like go in. Nice job with the bomb there. Like I guess Tricolor is really fast paced, it's really chaotic. Which I guess is the is the point of spiking too. I mean, you don't have to focus on one team, you have to focus on two teams. So it's slightly more challenging, honestly. There's a lot more stuff going on. Okay. It must feel very weird to be on the... I don't know how it looks... for the attacking team... if they're on the top. Or maybe like it's inverted for them. Um, I don't know. It's it's so hard to give tips on tricolor. It's, it's too different. And the thing is, like, you, it's really hard to give tips if you haven't been on both sides. Because then you don't really know. What do you mean? The tri the tricolor? It, it's not much different from normal turf form, just more chaotic. Well, yeah. But that's not really helpful as as like tips for. Improving in it, right? It's like since I've only be ever been on attacking teams, it's kind of hard for me to have both perspectives and try to see, like, try because you know one of the best things, one of the best ways to know what you could improve your, uh, yourself on your side is see, like, sometimes when you, whenever you fight with enemies, they do something and you realize, oh yeah, that makes that affects me in, in such way, it makes me play worse because I, I cannot play better. Uh, they're basically making me struggle and so that's what I should do to them also basically like whenever you throw whenever you're point censored right you can't really flank enemies you're, you're kind of like chilling waiting for it to go out and so whenever you play point censor you don't feel that it does as much because it doesn't get kills it doesn't do a lot of stuff but it changes the way the players feel like the same way that you feel like bound by the point sensor and you can't really do wait no you can't really do plays. Uh, that's the same thing that's going to happen to them. And so, since I haven't been on the defending team yet, I don't know how pressure. What makes me feel pressured? What what would make me feel pressured um, as a defending team player? And so I cannot give recommendations on what to do as an attacking team player to make the defending team feel pressured. That makes sense. Anyways, last tricolor game. Uh, I think. And I think this one was epic, apparently. That's the uh, crazy one. I also wonder, like, how the the next tricolor maps are gonna be like if what they're gonna what lessons they're gonna learn from this one and how if, if there's gonna be any similar things from in, from this one in the next ones I mean, one thing I, I think I like is that the, ma the tricolor maps are more open um, which is something you don't see a lot in Splatoon 3 because now most of the maps are, are just 
more linear. Even though I argue that they do have flanks, yes, they are definitely more linear. Like, there's way less pathways. But here, I mean, it feels like you have a little more. Okay, Neo says, like, I mean, okay. Send the beat filter. I'm gonna check the beat filter to ask for this. Don't forget my reason. Yep. Um, so apparently there was something cool in this game. I don't know what though, exactly. Because it doesn't say. Not looking. Yeah. Yeah, here I see like the three uh, blue players being pro uh, like crowded together. That's probably not a good thing. And also going into the the green team's base, I don't I don't know how you would play against um, against a team with a sprinkler because if you try to push into their base. Uh, and, and paint over there, the sprinkler is over time gonna paint back over it. So like making a push in their base is not really helpful in the long run. Unless you wanna do some kills and like just just kill them there if you have a way to do that. Uh, but otherwise I, I hardly see how it's gonna help to make a push in their base. Apart from like the last seconds of the game. Because then you, the sprinkler won't have time to paint too much over it. But yeah, I'll, uh, uh, yeah. I need to think about the ways, uh, like the, the way, the places where you should put paint that would be more helpful than in the enemy base. Because like here, like most of the paint, yeah, right. The the brush layer is just painting over it themselves again. So what was the cool thing? Did they win? Was it high? Oh, okay, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, replay codes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the your two guys' replay. Um, you didn't send any. Wait, hold on. Am I mistaking the two trees? No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, no, because you say you didn't send any. I, I, I'm like the ones you sent yesterday. That's that's the one. Um. Okay, so frog, 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 frog. Let me check your replay code, Whoa. and I'll do the one from Mio. That way, you guys have direct feedback, and, and you can see. See the games and share feedback uh, with yourself. So Frog, what is your, what is your code? Your code is R three I H R. Uh, da da da. Okay, U K seven seven. J four F. Okay, and then K H K eight. Okay, code. That is from uh, Mr. Frog in uh, Japanese on Hagglefish Market Turf 4. Uh, the next code from All right. Frog. Let's see this. It is R B 4 F X 4 N B uh, 9 O B L. PP7X. Hello, it's the Neon Wyvern. Hello, Mr. Neon Wyvern. Oop, okay. Final download. Wahoo World, Tower Control. That was an older game, but it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Doing rot VOD reviews? Yup, um, um, I've just finished up the tricolor VOD reviews, um, and now I'm moving on to normal VOD reviews. I, th I think. I'm probably going to take a break before I, I start um, like going back through all of the ones in the channel because that way I can like 
grab something to eat and like write all the codes without like making everybody wait. Um, Makes sense. And then I'll have to do a massive amount of video editing because like holy moly, I got so much stuff. Uh, view replays from Frog. Uh,